Welcome back to Story Recaps. Today I'm going to explain the movie, A Prayer Before Dawn, released in the year 2017. The movie opens and we see a boxer named Billy, who fights in underground boxing matches in Bangkok, Thailand. At this time also he is getting ready for a match. Billy is very nervous before his boxing match, but after taking some drugs he feels himself very energetic, and during the fight, he hits his opponent with more punches than necessary, due to which he loses his control, and loses the fight. After that, Billy buys drugs from a dealer, and goes back to his house. The next morning, suddenly police come to Billy's house, after searching the house, police find some drugs and an illegal handgun from Billy's house, due to which, police arrest Billy and take him away. Billy has a long sentence, to serve which he is sent to one of the worst and overcrowded prisons in Bangkok. After reaching here, guards do many checkups of Billy and search him, after the search, Billy is sent inside the prison. Here a guard secretly gives some drugs to Billy in exchange for some money. The condition inside this prison is very bad, and seeing the condition of the toilets here, Billy starts vomiting. There are more prisoners than necessary in this prison, but Billy ignores all of them and starts sleeping on the ground with hundreds of prisoners. The next day, guards explain the rules of the prison to the new inmates, and say that here no one should ever get involved in any kind of fight. On this day itself, while filling drinking water, Billy accidentally collides with a gang member in the crowd, after which the entire gang of that man fights with Billy. But Billy also does not show himself weak here, and he also gives them an equal fight, but because of that fight, Billy is thrown inside the solitary confinement cell for three days. Billy is taken out of the solitary cell and brought to a new part of the prison, where there are some dangerous criminals, and prisoners serving long sentences. Billy has to live here in a new room on the first floor, and 70 inmates live together in one room here. There is a gang leader of this whole room and the whole floor, who is very dangerous and scary in appearance, this man's name is Kang, from whom everyone present here was afraid, and obeyed him without question. Kang calls Billy over for an interview, and asks him for what crime you have come here, Billy tells that, he is a boxer but at the same time he used to deal drugs. Hearing this, Kang tells Billy to do 20 push-ups on the ground, and at the same time he and his men make fun of Billy for a long time, but Billy does not pay much attention to their words, because he knows that the value of life in this part of the prison is nothing. After this some people from Kang's group come to Billy, and give him drugs. One night when Billy was in the washroom, suddenly some gang members come to him, they scare Billy and control him, after which, they take turns raping a new inmate in the prison right in front of him, they hits Billy and threaten him, so that he does not tell anything about this to anyone. Billy was so scared of that incident, that he doesn't even sleep at night. In the morning, all the prisoners react absolutely normal, but Billy sees, that the new prisoner whom he saw raped last night has hanged himself. The incident that Billy had seen in the night, he could not forget it from his mind, but he knew, that he could not even tell the guards about the things happening here, otherwise Kang and the rest of the prisoners would kill Billy in his sleep. Seeing all this happening before his eyes for the first time, Billy's head starts bursting with pain, so he comes to the prison clinic, and asks for some pain pills for himself. But that guard knows about Billy's drug history, so he does not give him painkillers. Billy gets angry here, and starts fighting with that guard. Seeing this, the rest of the guards present here come to stop Billy, but Billy bites one of the guards, and becomes very violent. All the guards beat Billy by pinning him to the ground, until he is unconscious. After this, he is again thrown into the solitary confinement cell. After some time, a girl comes here to apply medicine on the injured Billy's wounds. After a few days, Billy is taken out of the solitary cell, and the guards tie chains to his feet, so that Billy cannot attack anyone again. With some money coming from his home in England, Billy starts taking drugs in the bathing area, here with the members of Kang. One day, Billy sees some girls together from the prison window, here he also sees the girl, who took care of him in the solitary cell. The rest of the prisoners tell Billy, that she is not a girl, rather, she is one of the transgenders serving a sentence here, whose name is Fame, and he works in the prison canteen. After this, Billy comes to the canteen, and buys some cigarettes on loan from Fame, Billy thinks of befriending him, Billy exchanges all those cigarettes for some drugs, after which, he again gets lost in the intoxication of drugs, but soon Billy runs out of both cigarettes and money, and now he has to do without drugs feels very strange. One day he sees the same guard, from whom he bought drugs the day before, Billy approaches him again and asks for drugs, but he does not have money, so the guard asks him to beat up some Muslim boys working in the kitchen for him. Drunk Billy goes to the kitchen, and without any reason he beats them mercilessly, in return the guard gives him drugs, but Billy does not take them, because he is now ashamed of his life. Because he had beaten up innocent people for some drugs, he cannot tolerate all those things, so at night Billy tries to commit suicide by cutting the vein of his hand, but seeing the blood, the rest of the prisoners alert the guards, which because his life is saved. After a few months, Billy stops taking drugs to get out of depression, and to get rid of his drug addictions, he starts trying his boxing moves and exercise. 
A few days later, the guards now remove those chains from Billy's feet. Meanwhile, one day Billy sees a boxing ring in the prison, where he sees some boys doing exercise and boxing exercises. Billy is very happy to see this, but he does not get entry in the boxing rig, and the boxing coach of the ring drives Billy away from here. Boxing coach is a heavy smoker, so Billy buys some cigarettes on credit again from Fame's shop to convince him, and he tells him that he will pay him back soon. Saying this he leaves from here, the plan made by Billy was successful, and the boxing coach allows Billy to enter the ring. Now Billy starts spending his every day in the boxing ring, and all his inner anger starts coming out on those punching bags, seeing Billy's punching and his increasing stamina, the rest of the boxers present here now start respecting him. When an exhausted Billy returns with a scar on his hands and his face, Kang and the rest of his cellmates in the room, mock him to make him laugh. Finally Billy had now learned to live in prison, one night there is a fee fight in prison, prisoners are betting in prison, and Billy also bets two packets of cigarettes on a fish, after which he wins that bet, but the losing prisoner does not give him a packet of cigarettes and starts fighting with him, he scares him by showing a piece of glass, but then their boss Kang comes in the middle, and he gives Billy the cigarettes he won, after which Billy comes to fame with all those cigarettes, and pays off all his debts so far, here both also talk about each other's family, fame tells, that he has come here in the crime of his father's murder case, because his father used to torture him for being a transgender. The coach pays a lot of attention to Billy's techniques in the boxing ring, and teaches him how to fight properly. Billy is injured several times in a real prison match, but he follows the techniques taught by the coach here, due to which he wins the fight, and he gradually becomes famous in prison boxing. After the match, we see all the prisoners praying to God for their safety and freedom. Billy was also praying seeing those people. The prison warden calls Billy to him and says, that you are a good boxer, so you will be shifted from the old cell to the boxing player's cell, so that after completing your training well, you can represent our prison in a high national boxing tournament. And after a few months, that tournament is going to be organized in another prison. Now, Billy starts doing his training even more seriously. After which he becomes comfortable with his new boxer prisoners. They all tell their story to Billy in the launch break, that how these people have come to this prison. While training with them, Billy also gets a tattoo of a tiger on his back, which will help him fight according to high custom. Billy used to meet fame every day along with his regular training, and becomes romantically involved with her. But one day Billy gets very upset seeing fame with another inmate, due to which he stops talking to her. This evening, Kang and his gang catch Billy in the washing area and beat him up. Actually, they demand money from Billy for the drugs, that he borrowed a few months back. Kang's men threaten Billy and say, that you return our money or win the boxing tournament for the prison, or else we will inject you with a needle filled with the blood of AIDS inmates, after which your life will be completely ruined. Now Billy gets very stressed due to all those things, due to which he starts using drugs again, and he beats up one of his boxer friends badly in the boxing rig. After which, the guards throw him in the solitary cell. In the solitary cell Billy overcomes his anger, and starts bringing himself back under control. After leaving solitary confinement, Billy returns to his boxing cell, and apologizes to his friends for that day, after which they also forgive him. Billy resumes his high training, and they all become even more friendly to Billy. But Billy's troubles are still not over, and one day he has unbearable pain in the middle of boxing practice, due to which he vomits blood in the washroom. The prison doctor tells Billy, that due to using more drugs and practicing boxing continuously, bleeding has started from your intense senses. And now if you do any heavy exercise or take drugs again, you may die due to internal bleeding. Knowing all this, Billy does not back down from his hard work, and starts getting ready for the boxing tournament. Billy and all the good boxers in the prison, are taken by bus to another prison. Upon reaching here, they see a newly boxing ring set up in the middle of that prison. After some time everyone prays here, after which the tournament starts. We see Billy who is still in a lot of pain, but he overlooses his pain, and starts waiting for his fight. Now at night Billy's fight number comes, his prison coach brings him to the ring, and he prepares Billy for the fight. The fight starts on the referee's signal and Billy starts getting heavy on his opponent in the first round, and after a few punches, he picks him up and throws him down. His opponent also does not lose his focus, and he hits Billy in his stomach to save himself from it, due to which Billy's pain starts increasing even more. Now it was very difficult for Billy to fight due to stomach pain, so he just starts defending himself without attacking, taking advantage of that his opponent beats him badly for several rounds. In the fifth round, Billy falls down and gets a kick in the mouth, after which the referee gives him a break. By the last round, Billy's condition was very bad, and his opponent continuously moving towards his victory, and starts raining very fast punches on Billy. But by now, Billy had completely exhausted his overconfidence opponent. That's why he knocks out his opponent with one of his strong kicks. All the prisoners present here start shouting happily after seeing such an unpredictable match, and Billy's name starts echoing at this place. Billy sees the crowd and his boxing coach celebrating his victory, then he has a severe pain here, and he falls down. 
and he faints due to internal bleeding. Here quickly an ambulance arrives that takes him to the hospital. A few days later Billy regains consciousness in the hospital, and he feels much better now. With the help of a nurse, he himself gets up and goes to the washroom. While coming back, Billy sees that the police guard present here is missing. Billy is out of prison for the first time alone without any supervision. No one is noticing Billy here, so he slowly walks out in front of the hospital, and walks into town. But after coming to the market area and the train track, he changes his intention to run away, because he does not want to run away from the police for the rest of his life, and so he comes back to the hospital room. After recovering, he is brought back to the prison from the hospital, where his father from England comes to visit him. And at the end of the movie, we knows, that the role of Billy's father in this movie is played by the same Billy Moore, the one who had completed his sentence in that prison in real life, both of them keep looking at each other for a long time, without saying anything. After serving his sentence for three years, in 2010, Billy is sent to prison in England, because of his boxing performance, and the then King of Thailand waived the rest of his sentence, and the King of Thailand pardoned the rest of his sentence.